Well, my first job was as an usher at Radio City Music Hall, mm -hmm. uh, which was very prestigious. It was like getting into West Point. You know, you'd line up and be in with white gloves and uniforms and uh, there would be a line up and the they'd inspect your shoes and it was just like being in the army. Uh, but there was one other low level job, even more prestigious than that, and that was being a page at NBC. And I managed to get that next. Uh, and at that time, which was 1951, There was the big switch from radio to television, and there was nobody who had television experience, so it was easy or easier to get into television mm -hmm. because they would pick people either from radio or from uh, theater uh, because television was just starting. Uh, so being a page, in that era, you could get a starting job, low-level job, as a production assistant or something, uh, and work your way up rather quickly, as opposed to now. Yes. So now, <laughs> what was the first job that you did then, getting into television? The first job actually was on the outside, not at NBC. I got a job as an assistant to a woman who had a radio show on WOR, and her name was Ruby Mercer. And one of the things uh, that was part of the show was opening night reviews of Broadway plays. And that really was my first job uh, doing reviews for plays. Uh, and that led to producing her show. Uh, and then I got a job at NBC, again radio, a show called Monitor, which was a weekend 48-hour radio program, uh, which uh, a radio program on NBC called Monitor, uh, which was a new revolutionary format of starting Friday night and going until uh, late Sunday night. Uh, and there I started as a, again, production assistant kind of job. One of the problems with the job was uh, I had to type the rundowns for the show and I didn't know how to type. And I found girls on different floors at NBC in the ICA building, and I would hand them each one sheet to type and hand them out, and then have to collect them an hour later. Uh, and it was a race every day when they said, well, I didn't have time to do it yet. And I'd say, I have a deadline. You have to do it right now. So that was a scary part of the job, getting the rundowns typed. Uh, but I managed to succeed doing that. And from there, I the next job was producer of a radio show called Nightline, before the current Nightline, uh, which was a two-hour nightly radio show on the NBC radio network. Uh, and that, again, was a completely loose format. 
uh, it was a magazine type format. It was partly news, partly music, partly comedy. And that's where I found and started people like Mort Saul and Nicholson May and Shelley Berman, who would do little five minute vignettes. Uh, and that's where I really started what I love doing more than anything else, and that is finding talent uh, and developing them.